Hello and welcome to Your Learning Zone, the online place for learning about children's nutrition with Grub for Life. In this module we're looking at balancing toddlers' nutrition. You can start and stop the training whenever you like and if you've missed something just go back and have a look again. There are questions to answer at the end which will help you check you've understood the key points in the module and don't forget to keep a record of the time you've spent here. This will count towards your continued professional development. If you'd like to know more detailed information about any of the topics we've covered in the module, have a look at the Food and Nutrition Reference Manual or contact Grub for Life in person. OK, let's get started. Healthy eating for toddlers is all about balance. Balancing the food groups, balancing portion sizes and balancing the frequency of some foods and drinks are consumed. You'll know very well that toddlers eat better on some days than others, so all foods and drinks need to be a nu as nutrient packed as possible. Balanced nutrition for toddlers means meeting energy and nutrient requirements. That means you need to include a mixture of high calorie foods and low calorie foods. As we saw in healthy eating for toddlers, a balanced diet is needed to keep toddlers fit and healthy and to make sure they receive all the energy and nutrients they need. Healthy eating involves combining foods from all five food groups in appropriate proportions. This means that toddlers need to eat foods which are high in calories, like white sauces and puddings, as well as foods which are low in calories, like vegetables. So let's have a look at the five main food groups close up. The starchy or complex carbohydrates are the main energy providers. They give toddlers a drip feed of energy to keep them going between meals and snacks. Unlike simple carbohydrates like sugar or honey which provide immediate energy, starchy foods need to be digested and broken down slowly to give the body energy. Toddlers do need some fibre in their diet just like adults but not as much, so you need to serve a mixture of whole grain and white breads, pasta and rice. Too much fibre in a toddler's diet and they'll get full up and lose their appetite. Not enough fibre can lead to constipation, so it is all a question of balance. When planning your menus, remember that whether they're whole grain or white, starchy foods are quite filling, so make sure you get portion sizes correct. If you don't know what 90 grams of cooked pasta looks like, you might want to weigh it out once or twice until you get the right portion size by eye. Fruits and vegetables are nature's protective foods. They contain antioxidant vitamins and minerals to help protect toddlers and also to help them grow and develop. Fruit and vegetables come in many different guises and they all count towards a toddler's five a day. Fresh, canned and frozen are probably the most useful. When you use fresh, don't forget that basic ranges are just as good as the expensive premium ranges. Frozen veg often contains more vitamins and minerals than fresh and it's really convenient and of course there's no wastage. It's a good idea to keep some cans of fruit in natural juice or vegetables in unsalted water as a good standby. You can add them to soups, casseroles and pasta sauces. Now officially fruit juice and fruit smoothies can be counted once as a serving towards five a day. This is because the sugar in fruit juice is more corrosive to teeth than the sugar in whole fruit. But remember, we recommend you only ever serve fruit juice to toddlers diluted one part juice to ten parts water. At this level of dilution, you really can't count it towards your five a day. Most people in the UK don't eat anywhere near their five servings of fruit and veg a day. Lifelong eating habits are established in the early years, so you can really help toddlers to learn to love their veggies. Because they're full of starchy carbohydrate, from a nutritional point of view, potatoes don't fit into the fruit and veg group, they fit into the starchy carbohydrate group. 
to keep fruit and vegetables as healthy as possible, remember these watch points. If you're serving canned fruit, always use fruit in natural juice. If serving canned vegetables, always use vegetables in unsalted water. And if serving dried fruit, only serve it as part of a meal and not on its own. When it comes to planning your menu, Toddler fruit and vegetable servings and portions are roughly half the size of adult portions. Using the toddler fist size portion guide is a good way to get toddlers to count their own five a day. Don't forget, you can count all the vegetables that you add to a dish. So if you're making a pasta sauce, the onion, tomatoes, tomato puree, peppers and the mushrooms, they all count. Having standard recipes which show the quantity of fruit or vegetables means you can easily calculate the number of fruit and veg servings a toddler receives throughout the day. We look at milk and dairy products. These are rich sources of protein, calcium and other minerals. Up until a year, almost all of a baby's nutrition comes from milk, whether that's breast milk or formula. This reduces as a toddler moves on to solid food. To encourage good eating, milk from feeding bottles should be phased out at around a year and replaced with milk drinks from beakers and cups. Of course, milk is also served at this stage on cereals and in milk puddings. Follow-on milks are widely promoted as being good for all children. This is not the case at all. Follow-on formula is only suitable for children with a poor dietary intake. In fact, giving follow-on formula to children who are eating well may actually cause them to reduce their intake from solid food. Too much milk or an overdependence on milk are all common reasons for children developing fussy eating habits and not eating well. When planning your menu, serve milk, cheese or yogurt two or three times a day. Milk can be taken as a drink over cereal or in puddings or savoury sauces. Whole milk and full fat yoghurt should be served to all children under two years. Semi skimmed milk can be served to children over two years providing they eat well and skimmed milk should only be served to children over five years. No skimmed milk should be served to under fives at all. Here are some examples of appropriate toddler portions of dairy foods. Again, if you need to, weigh them once or twice until you get familiar with what 75 grams of cheese actually looks like. Protein food group includes meat, fish, poultry, eggs and pulses, including beans and chickpeas and lentils. It also includes foods like dal and hummus. Toddlers have high needs for iron in their diet. Iron is needed to make healthy blood cells. Babies are born with a small supply of iron from their mother, but this runs out after six months, and it's why babies need to start weaning onto solid foods. Red meat is the richest source of iron, but non-meat eaters can also obtain their iron from pulses and eggs if they eat them. Non-meat protein food should always be served with a food or drink that contains vitamin C. Iron from non-meat food is less well absorbed and vitamin C helps the body use this more efficiently. Oily fish like salmon, mackerel and sardines are great sources of omega-3 oils. They should be served once a week. And white fish like coli, haddock or tilapia and cod should also be served once a week. Canned tuna is popular with toddlers and fresh tuna counts towards a serving of oily fish. Unfortunately, the canning process destroys the omega-3 oils in tuna, so we're not able to count that towards a serving of oily fish. However, canned sardines, mackerel and salmon retain their omega-3 so they can be counted. If you like to use tuna, Perhaps mix it with mackerel or salmon so that you are including omega-3s in the weekly diet. When planning your menu, serve meat, fish or poultry twice a day to children who eat them. 
serve vegetarian children non-meat protein foods three times a day. Remember, desserts and puddings containing eggs are important sources of protein and iron. And despite being excellent sources of protein, we can't count nuts towards protein intake because most childcare settings operate a nut-free policy. Here's your serving guides for examples of individual pro portions of protein foods and also how to gauge servings in composite dishes like the chicken curry. If you don't feel confident at estimating food weights, try weighing a portion a couple of times to help you become more accurate. Foods high in fat and sugar are often demonised by parents and the media. At some stage, children are going to eat sweet foods, so they might as well do it with you, where you can help them learn to balance them as part of a healthy diet. Not offering toddlers any sweet foods at all doesn't teach them how to include them in a balanced diet. It gives an air of mystique to sweet foods and may even promote overconsumption in the long run. Of course, serving sweet foods too often increases the likelihood of issues like dental caries and obesity, so common sense prevails. Do remember though, foods that contain fats also include many important nutrients, so again we need to balance these foods in a healthy diet. When planning your menu, be specific about the types of fats and oils you use in cooking to make sure you're balancing the good fats into children's diets. If you're using butter, say so in your recipe. Similarly, state which oils you're using to fry food or to make dressings for salads. Okay, let's see what you've remembered. How many grams of fruit and vegetables in one toddler serving? Is it 30 grams, 40 grams or 50 grams? There's 40 grams half the serving of an adult serving in one toddler serving of fruit and veg. You can also measure against a toddler's fist size or a dessert spoon. At what age can toddlers be given semi-skimmed milk? Is it one year, 18 months or two years? The answer is two years, providing a toddler is eating well most of the time. How many servings of milk, cheese or yoghurt should a toddler have every day? Is it one serving, two servings or three servings? To meet their calcium requirements once they're on solid foods, toddlers need three servings of dairy food each day. If toddlers don't eat cow's milk, then soya alternatives are also calcium enriched and will, three servings of soya foods will produce all the calcium a toddler needs. Which vitamin helps with the absorption of iron? Is it vitamin C, vitamin A or vitamin E? Vitamin C is the important vitamin to help with the absorption of iron. It's especially important to serve a vitamin C rich food like tomatoes with a vegetarian source of iron like lentils or eggs if vegetarian children eat eggs. Which of the following cannot be counted as a serving of oily fish? Is it canned sardines, canned salmon or canned tuna? Unfortunately, the omega-3 oils in, in fresh tuna are lost during the canning process, but remember canned mackerel, sardines and canned salmon all retain their omega-3s and can be counted towards a serving of oily fish. If toddlers are served fruit juice, it needs to be diluted as one part juice to four parts water, one part juice to six parts water, or one part juice to ten parts water? The answer is, fruit juice needs to be diluted one part juice to ten parts water. This reduces the risk of dental caries from the free sugars that are found in fruit juice.
there you go. Thanks for watching this module of Balancing Toddler's Nutrition. We hope you've enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions at all, just contact the team at Grub for Life. We'd love to hear from you.